my business I run with my husband, Darren, and we're Black Velvet Coffee Roasters. We, um, we roast coffee and we wholesale to around Australia, and we have an espresso bar in Melbourne CBD. Oh, I, love, I love coffee. I've always loved coffee. I, um, I've been around the industry since well, for about 25 years, and um, there's something about hospitality, there's something about making people happy that makes me happy. And um, I've always been inspired by people who do well, been inspired by people who work really hard at what they do, whether that be in business, in sport, in any area of life, and that's what we try and do, and we work hard, and I love the industry, and I love coffee, and I love the satisfaction people get from drinking a good cup. So I think the most fundamental thing he helped us with was to develop our, um, our mission statement, which for us, we never thought would be so vital, but once we really work through that, it has shaped everything we have done from that point onwards. And already we've seen um, uh, in our staff, in our business, in our contacts, in our um, everyday dealings, has shaped everything we've done. I guess the one thing, the, the main thing for me, um, and Jackie might have a different answer, is. It's made me think about things and think in a way that I hadn't thought before. And it was always about the day-to-day -day running of the business and what could I do today that was better than yesterday and how can I get through the day? And now I'm starting to think about things next week and next month and next year and planning for the future and where will the business be in 12 months, three years, five years, 10 years, or even beyond. And I. It's made me think in that way, and I'd never thought that way before. And, and um, I guess it's hard to sort of quantify what that means, but for me, it, it means everything. It, it's, it's, it's taught me a whole new way of thinking and a whole new way to look at the way I run my life and the way I run my business. And um, to be honest with you, I think without the first introduction to Jason and the practice that I had here, um, probably wouldn't be standing here today and it's you know it's um in terms of standing in here today um, but it's been brilliant and it's helped our business and our business has grown significantly since and continues to we were surprised by it i think it can be just words but we um we were particularly inspired um by the time we spent with jason and then in the practice after that point uh, and we decided to to go full on and take it as far as we could. So we've been very... What's the outcome taking full on? The outcome has actually been quite significant in that um, uh, obviously profits is one thing, but at the moment we've gone through a complete rebranding, which is going live next week. We've uh, got a publicist that's starting next week as well. And this is all based along uh, from, our, from the basics of our mission statement right through to now really launching our business again with this mission statement in mind. Uh, we have staff members now who um, are on board with that mission statement. It's where people can see it. And our customers have even said that they can feel where our business is going now. It's really focused where we want to be. I think the way we do the day-to-day -day thing hasn't really changed dramatically. But it's more about the things that we've put in place that have assisted in the day-to-day -day running. Um, We've got a strategic plan, we've got, you know, I mean, the very first question we were ever asked was, what do we stand for? What are we doing and why are we doing it? I've never been asked that question before. I mean, I do it because I love it, but that wasn't the answer. The answer really was to, to why I was doing it is, is because we want to build something. We want to watch something grow. We want to teach our kids how to grow something from this into this and, and how hard you've got to work to do it and the little things that we never really took a whole lot of notice of are things that we now have in place and having those things in place and on paper and also in the back of our minds all the time makes it a lot easier to plan, um, knowing why we're doing it and without listening to Jason the first time and meeting everyone and all you guys, that wouldn't have happened and yeah, business would still be going well but I wouldn't be able to stand here now and say to you that I know where it's going and I know what our goal is for this time next year and in five years and now I can. We've benefited from 
the services of Darren. We've, we've remortgaged, uh, we've only been in the practice for a few months. And at this point, we've remortgaged our home loan, uh, saving ourselves quite a bit of money, thanks to Darren. Um, and that's been a fantastic experience. Very, um, he's helped us so much. He's been on the end of the phone or the email whenever we need him. So I've been really thankful for that. We see Caitlin, I speak to her on a regular basis about lots of things, sometimes other than financial. <laughs> but um, actually I'm trying to get Darren to get me a thermomix at the moment, so we're trying to put that into the statement. <laughs> so it's all around, our business is based on the Black Velvet family, and we try and bring our, bring our clients and our customers in there to feel this part of this family. And as corny as it may sound, this is how we feel about the practice. We feel like we've just been part of the practice family now. Look, everyone's been, been brilliant. I mean, we've, we were made to feel at home from the minute we walked in. And we come from a situation where, certainly in terms of accounting, if you like, we, were, um, we never had a relationship with, with, the, with the company we were dealing with, with our, the people within the company. It was, there was a voice on the end of the phone and that was about it and it was about once a year and around the end of June and there was no more than that and, and, and now it's, um, you know, we've met people in, in all the different areas of the, uh, uh, the practice that, that are helping us in different areas and, and um, giving us advice and making the calls to us without waiting for us to make the call to them and that's... Honestly, I've never, I've never been in that situation before and it's been really helpful and it's been really really satisfying to know that, 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 is, that that's there in place for us and it's really comforting when, you, when you're trying to do what we do day to day and it takes up a crazy amount of hours that we've got someone that's watching our back, if you like. We've got lots of things in the future, but the next thing is really next week with our rebranding um, and the publicity. So now it's a matter of taking our business. It's just mostly Melbourne-based. Uh, we're focusing on Sydney now. So now we're starting to go um, around Australia. Look, in a roundabout sort of a way, I would say if you, if you don't have a crack, you're never going to know. We've found that the way we're going at the moment in a lot of different areas. We're talking about rebranding our company. We're talking about publicity campaign that's about to start. We're talking about the behind the scenes stuff in terms of financial support, accounting support, business support, all that sort of stuff. We would never, and we will probably never find out whether we could have got there by ourselves, but I guess if you don't take the plunge and have a crack, then you're never gonna find out. And, and I don't wanna be the guy that Dies wondering. Um, my wife's the same. We're pretty ambitious people, and there's enough people out there that are going to die wondering. I'm not going to be one of them.